Hello, Tony's Pizzeria. Uh, I'd like to order a thousand pizzas. Oh, okay, you too. No, no one ever orders a thousand pizzas. Uh, hi everyone, Matt Beacon here, but I don't know for how much longer because they've run out of money for to make these videos. So this might be this probably be the last one, which is a shame. It was really the one thing that kept me going, like was what I was, you know, had to look forward to. I can't, I can't do this anymore. Can't afford a gun. Pills. April Fools, gotcha. Classic April Fools prank. So today we're going to talk a little bit about how to make your April Fools the best. So everyone can get a taste of humiliation all on the same day for once. Here are some classic surefire April Fools pranks that are sure to get a laugh out of somebody. There's the buzzer handshake. You have a buzzer in your hand. There's uh, egging your house. There's TP in a house. Joke's on them though, because I don't live in a house anymore. Ha! Telling a coworker that they're being fired. Oh, the anxiety. It's like a roller coaster. Ha. That happened to me too. Uh, a classic one uh, a lot of people go through is telling your husband that you love him unconditionally and will be with him and support him till the end of all time and then uh, leaving him for some dick named Paul. Oh, and then there's exploding bubble gum. I don't know how that works, chemistry, but... Of course, maybe the number one classic prank of all time is the telephone prank call. The first thing you need to do is uh, pick an unwitting victim. So I think I got a good one in mind here. Hello, is Paul there? Is this Paul who's uh, married to a Sheila Beacon who is escorting her son's field trip to the box factory today? Sir, uh, yes, I'm calling from the school. I'm afraid there's some bad news. Your wife during the trip uh, fell over the railing and uh, was turned into a box. No, she's not okay. She's a box. She's dead. No, he's fine, Evans. No, he's, he's fine. I was just a jo I was just prank calling you on April Fool's. Okay. It was a little was April Fool's day. Um, yeah, some people are, have better senses of humor than others. So we're going to do one last classic prank for April Fool's Day. Um, we're going to do it on the only person I know who's more gullible than me, uh, Ellen, our intern PA. Uh, so we're going to call her in to powder my face, and then when she's here, we'll, we're going to put this on her back. So it's pretty funny. There you go. Did you maybe, like, on the... Back, uh, okay, yeah. a little bit, yeah, I guess. Can you just not touch me though? Because oh. that makes me really uncomfortable. So, oh. thanks. Oh. Ha. <laughs> Fun. Is it still on or? Oh no, it fell. Thanks for watching. Bye. That's not a prank. That's for, thanks. Hey, Matt. Stand right there for a second. We just need to make sure that the light is better. Is it still? Are we getting a good reading? Point, Point back a little more. At your back so we can focus. What? what like towards your back. Is, is that it, good? Are we getting the motion light sensor reading? Could you point up a little higher? Like this? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, sorry, but we really are going to have to cut the series. <laughs> nice one, guy. April Fools, bud. Oh, you guys.